Did somebody say fun hearts of iron four mods? Oh, well, you know what? Hoi four modding and all the weird little wacky mods that we did back in the day founded this channel and brought it to where it is today. Madness. Although out of all the weird mods I have played, this one's probably not that odd. Although for some Americans, this may be a little daunting. That's right, because today's mod is all about that word you don't like to hear over there. Communism. You see, for the uh, communist side of the US, a historical tree wasn't that good. Great. Memorable. Even worth doing other than for the achievements. So, this mod goes ahead and revamps it. And now you only have uh, the communist side of the tree. Uh, it's safe to say that out of all the Hoi 4 trees out there, um, maybe the non-historical ones for the US aren't exactly the best. But I do enjoy the US focus tree, so we'll see if this one's any better. Oh, I'm also going to assume that you're not going to be here for too long, uh, Mr. Roosevelt. Don't worry, we'll wheel you out stage left. Oh, um, I also start over my building capacity in states. I'm assuming I have something different here, what? Ah, yeah, max factories in a state minus 50%. So technically, the factories that we already have laid down do not exist. <laughs> oh, I guess when in doubt, build some infrastructure, I suppose. Okay, so we already are starting off moving ourselves closer to the Civil War, which, yes, we do actually have to fight a Civil War to flip over because, let's be realistic, the US would never willingly go towards that path during this time. So, we're going to have to fight for it. That did not take too long at all. UK sponsors a session of more st oh, I'll remember this one. Okay, it is safe to say that our country has been torn in half. Oh, I, at least I've made a new friend. Hold on a second, I just realized. Uh, I guess we still have Roosevelt right now. <laughs> oh, well, um, I don't think, uh, yeah, we've had a bit of a switch in government, and goodbye Eisenhower. It was kind of using him, but alas. Yeah, that was not difficult at all. Usually, you don't really want to do uh, civil wars in uh, Hoi 4, just in general, especially because they tend to send you back quite a bit in terms of your progression, and you do end up having a bit more of a later game, but this one was speedy. <laughs> Glory to the... No, 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 no. Glory to the American worker! Yeah, uh, you see, now that we've uh, lost cause on every state that seceded, which isn't exactly great. Uh, in fact, our military capabilities have already gone down because we lost pretty much all of our mills there. So yeah, now we need to go ahead and click this button a whole bunch of times and get them all back in our wonderful communist union. Sorry, boys. Capitalism is dead. Now we have mandatory button pressing. It's so much more fun and good for your finger. Your finger will be very worked out. You will enjoy your mandatory button pressing, Timothy. Uh, okay, so I could go with force collectivization, but that would pretty much keep us locked into the common turn over here. Or I could go with pact with the countryside and get all of this stuff, which I think I'm gonna do. I don't exactly need to rush for a uh, get rid of the uh, Great Depression that quickly. I mean, it's not like I'm going to war anytime soon, right? E plus, I don't think I really want to be strapped to the Soviets that much. I mean, you did help me out in the Civil War a bit, but, uh... Not a fan of that mustache. Yeah, so instead of going with Stalin and the common turn, instead we are going with leading the new international communism and forming our new faction of the Global Marxist Alliance. It's just me and the Philippines, and they're not even communists. <laughs> that is just for now, though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the Army of the United Socialist States, go down to the Office of Strategic Reserves, and try to make some friends over in uh, <laughs> our neighbors. <laughs> uh, so I, always ha I already have a focus called Save the Chinese Revolution, and I think, yeah, that's going to invite them to us in our faction. And I don't think I'm ready to go to War of Japan just yet. I'm going to be real. So I usually go concentrate uh, in USA games just because you don't really tend to change your equipment around that much so having the retention doesn't really bother me but uh, with our focus tree we do get insane two year ahead of time bonuses times two so I'm already going to get down a concentrated in industry four already in 244 days which is pretty damn good and speaking of good have you ever heard of a little thing called communism South America and I can also just immediately go up to war economy too I 
I mean, how can you say that that ain't great? Uh, because we did the slower path, we can't get rid of the Great Depression in all until the 1st of January 1939. So having war economy straight away is definitely still boosting us up. Ah, uh, I just realized because we didn't get all the Navy back from the Civil War, uh, this is, this is gutted um we don't have like any screens really we've got one cruiser and then all, all the rest are just destroyer ones which yeah not the best but we did keep all the battleships i think i actually i don't think we did uh oh okay so we also have intervention uh decisions we can do in north america uh from all these colonial powers now whether or not these guys are going to accept it i don't know but i don't yeah i don't think they really will i'm not interested really in go to war with them but i i guess we could uh, oh well, the, the uk actually they accepted but everybody else said no well i mean i can't really say no to that and uh <laughs> my free land uh does give us a little more aluminium down here because you don't really start as a lot as the americans you do have to build it up with your uh your resources so you know what? It would have been good if the, the, the Dutch gave me theirs too, but alas. Oh my god, they added the hit film Oppenheimer to the video game. Oh, that's why I'm for Oppen. Do I go to war with Cuba? Yes. First we went to war with you because you were communists. Now we're going to war with you because you are. Okay, this time around, old chaps, I'm going to have to request that everybody leave their pigs at home this time. Yep, see, that went much better without them, didn't it? Uh, so obviously we're not an imperialist, so all we're going to do is puppet the Cubans and then also take all their resource rights because they've got a lot of chromium. There we go. Revolutionary Cuba looking good. Ooh. We could also go for a coup in Mexico. I mean, you know what? Let's do it. I mean, hey, you can put the American in communism, but you can't take the American out of communism. So when the coup starts off in Mexico, I also have a focus where I will actually get dragged in as well. Just hopefully they last seven days for me to do it. There you go. Don't worry. I'm just liberating you from your capitalistic oppressors. Wait, I can also take stuff here. Well, you know what? Yonk, that's my payment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot as well. I have player-led conferences on just because I haven't used it in such a long time. And after the uh, the other mod we did, uh, I wanted to give it a go. And uh, as you can see, it has paid off because I have stolen land from the Mexicans. Uh, so yeah, I am trying to shore up the Navy a little bit just in case we do come into contact with the Allies at some point. And uh, I'm also going to go ahead and do submarines because I guarantee we're going to have to deal with the Japanese who are doing way too good in Asia right now. Um, my new Mexican friends uh, having another civil war. Um, don't like that. You know, Mexico, I'm getting a strange feeling of deja vu. You know, don't make me come back a third time. All right, so Japan actually beat China already, which ain't too great for us. Um, so I'm going to move the army over to the Philippines immediately. Okay, so the current balance right now is not going to be good for us. The um, Japanese declared war on Xinjiang, who joined the Soviets, which means Soviet which, yeah, it looks like they're winning right now, but as soon as the Germans going on them, their army ain't gonna be over here. Okay, well, that's not how I thought this war might start, but my Mexican allies just declared war on Central America, and they joined the Japanese faction, so I guess I'm involved now. Okay, so already our fleet is taking care of the Japanese, and we need to start trying to invade as quickly as we can before they start moving troops away from the Soviets, or the Soviets get invaded by Germany. Oh, I'm just, I'm really gonna hope the Mexicans have this covered too, because I, I'm not dealing with that. Okay, Taiwan, you were looking out for communists, but you didn't specifically say which type. Oh yeah, I am absolutely shredding the Japanese fleet right now. This is not looking too good for them. Uh, so not a lot of people actually know this, but if you click on Navy up here, then click on this little button here called Lost Ships, you can actually look at the statistics of what your Navy has been doing. Uh, so as you can see right now, we have lost 13 ships and the Japanese have lost 
214. Uh, I'm assuming that counts for the convoys as well, but either way, it's not been looking too good for them. Uh, mostly what we are losing is the submarines and our crappy destroyers by the looks of things. We have not lost anything big, but the Japanese have. Oh, and there the Germans go declaring war on the Soviets. That's not going to be too good for them. Okay, so I've sent an attache over to the Soviets just to get a grasp of what's going on. It does look like they are completely abandoning this front now, which is pretty... <laughs> you can see them all leaving. <laughs> and yeah, that, that ain't looking too good. Um, okay. Uh, okay, this is absolutely disgusting how much damage I'm doing. I mean, in all fairness, my submarines are getting absolutely torn up, but a lot of them were just my sub threes without snorkels, but now I got my submarine fours, which are completely decked out with snorkel two. Okay, yeah, the Japanese convoys are completely gone. They're down to 98 and 148 there, and you gotta assume as well that they are also supplying their army in China and trading, so that is uh, probably zero. Um, yeah, and considering how many I have destroyed, they're probably having some, uh, problems, let's say that much. So don't mind if I exploit them! Just gonna assume as well that all of their army is currently stuck over in the mainland over here, so they're not gonna be able to get back and we're gonna be have free reign over here. Okay, all I can say is thank Communist Jesus that I have player-led conferences on this war, or else it would be very messy. Okay, there you go, perfect! And I just wanna note that we got, uh, got them all as puppets too, so <laughs> it's not imperialism, it's liberation. Okay, now how the hell do we deal with this? I mean, we gotta kinda help out the Soviets here, but I don't wanna just walk through the Soviet land. I feel like we can do a bit better than that. And I did just seize the means of production, the Japanese fleet. So now we have two pretty decent our fleets that we can put to work. Can we go ahead and help the Soviets in their war against imperialism when we are surrounded at home by imperialism everywhere we look? So I think it's only fair we deal with that first. Surprisingly, it didn't take too long. Welcome, Canada! Hey, now, do I have to capitulate anyone but the UK? I don't. How do I get over here? Long, arduous journey of island hopping. Uh, meanwhile, my submarines are hopefully keeping the British busy enough that I don't have to deal with the meddling and naval invading anywhere I don't see fit. Uh, I mean, like, them messing with Italy right now is probably for the best, considering the Germans are doing way too well in the Soviet front over there, so I need to get a move. My submarines are having one hell of a happy time over here. Well, there was uh, nobody even defending Iceland, which <laughs> easy for me. Um, am I am I not at war with Free France? I am at war with Free France, but they just can't. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Okay, we have landed in Northern Ireland. Way to complicate the situation over here even more. That's right, Britain. The beans on toast will stop. Oh, that is that is a disgusting amount of cast damage we are doing to the British on home turf. Okay, nice. Now, this is going to be a little bit complicated because we do have player-led conferences on, so I'm not going to game it. I'll give the Germans all of mainland Europe, although it would be funny if I just suddenly appeared in Poland. Okay, there you go. That went completely smoothly. Although I think, yeah, I did accidentally take Greece there. That is my bad. Okay, so I have just gone ahead and puppeted the Allies for the most part. Now we have a Marxist government over here in Britain, which is exactly what they want. Trust me. They didn't try and stop me by blowing me up on the beaches. Okay, which means now I need to get back to my job of saving the revolution in Russia. Um, they have stopped them somewhat, but they did just lose Leningrad as that peace conference is going on, so let's get to work, chaps. Okay, Germany, well, once again, uh, it appears my allies are already at war with you, so that makes my life a lot easier. Okay, so first off, just gonna blow this up, and then we're gonna launch our invasions. I'm sure the Soviets can last a little longer. Okay, yeah, Soviets are pretty much, uh, I think they'll be okay just for a little bit longer. I just need to make a few more tanks and my invasion's ready to go. Uh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Get in here, North Korea. Or I guess you'll just, um, 
career in this scenario. Uh, you know what? I'll bring the whole squad in. What could go wrong? Oh, you know, interestingly, I actually have 20% war participation, by the fact we haven't actually fought yet, but I have destroyed a lot of planes, a lot of convoys, and probably a lot of ships. All right, let's give this one a go. All right, boys, you may be missing, uh... 600 tanks, but do the best you can. Europe sure is a wonderful place to visit. I am having a absolute whale of a time here. The Axis have just absolutely pumped out so many troops because they haven't really had anything to do. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to punch through the org walls of death right now. Power of Cass, though, we are uh, slowly chipping away and pushing them out. Uh, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I'm sacrificing millions of people here. Well, that didn't go too well for the Germans. That is a, uh, a lot of Axis troops stuck over in the Netherlands. Would be a shame if I accidentally dropped my uh, workers liberation bomb. Oh. Free healthcare. <laughs> I gotta say, it's very fitting that you ended up exactly where you were going to end up after this anyway. Hmm. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, good thing I looked back at the Americas, because once again, it appears I need to help Mexico. Yeah, I just don't think you were 100% thinking straight when you declared this war, Stalin. Uh, also, uh, Turkey joined the Axis, along with, uh, like, half of uh, uh, South America, which is uh, really fun. <laughs> Not that I'm going to push anywhere in South America. I just need to beat Turkey and we're done here. There we go. Now, how the hell do I clean this mess up? All right. Didn't care too much, but there you go. Europe is kind of back to how it started, almost. And there you go. I don't think you deserve all this land, Mexico. But I also kind of want to see if you'll mess it up for like the 12th time. Okay. Perfect. There you go. And for wasting my time... That's what you're gonna look like. I specifically like this section of broken up Russia, where it's all just led by, like, the same guy. <laughs> but with different variations of uniform. Uh, wouldn't want to go ahead and get people thinking that he may actually all be the same ruler. Or, in fact, he may, in fact, be the ruler of Comey Socialist State, you know? Don't want any rumors going around. But you know what? It's always good to see a familiar face, Pantalamon Ponomarenko. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this mod uh it was okay it's honestly nothing too crazy much like the german focus tree that i actually uh showed off as well it is okay um nothing crazy and uh you know you run out of stuff to do pretty quickly but if you have your own fun it's definitely got a little bit more flavor than the normal communist tree for the Americans. Uh, but anyway, I'll leave the mod link down below and you can play it yourself if you want to if not then I'll see you in a couple days of another mod.